do, uh, we're going to do uh, Fontaine's Dublin City. That's what it, DC stands for. I found out yesterday. We're going to do uh, No. Okay, and I'm basing this on their uh, live in Montrose uh, performance that is on YouTube. Uh, let's talk about the melody first, because one way to figure out songs is to... Um, songs is to figure out uh, the melody uh, and that will give you the key of the song so the key of this song is E major <laughs> but they don't play an E major in the whole song so and one of the guitar players uh, is just playing uh, power chords this would be the easiest way to play it simply uh, B, A, B major, we're playing a power chord, so A, then it goes to uh, C sharp minor, but we're just playing a power chord, back to A. It's over. That um, in the open position. B. It would be another way to play it, like on an acoustic, maybe. Um, so that's just B at the third, uh, fourth fret. I'm just playing uh, with the A shape, I'm, but I'm moving it up to the fourth fret. I'm letting uh, some of the open strings ring. So that's kind of how they play it with a lot of open strings ringing. And then I'm just playing this um, shape for the C sharp minor. Index on the fourth fret on the high E. Second finger on the B string at the fifth fret. And then ring finger on the G string at the sixth. Makes a little stair step. And then it goes back to A from the C sharp minor. Right, uh, now let's grab our capo. <clears throat> uh, the two other guitars are playing with the capo on the second fret. And that gives us an A. That's one of our three chords in the song. Remember we are playing uh, the A shape here. Now the capo is holding it down for us. If we play the... Um, D, G, and B strings, we got an A. All right, but that, uh, <clears throat> the other two players are playing uh, between um, the fifth, at the fifth fret, the seventh fret, and I'm not sure about the ninth fret, but I I, I think it's easy to play uh, the C sharp minor at the ninth fret. All right, so um, they're playing. So, you know, it starts on B. So this is uh, like a, like your F shape. So uh, you know, they're playing it more like this. That's what one of the guitarists is playing. The 
one that's drumming faster comes in like on maybe like the fourth uh, bar. B A. Now, uh, then you could play the uh, C sharp minor at the ninth fret. C sharp minor. A. B. Now, you, with the uh, B, here's where you can start getting some of the open strings. This fret uh, is uh, on the fifth string, normally your A string, because it's on the second fret now is the open B. So you can play that stair step shape and get that open B in there. That That is uh, one of the things that is being done here. Is they're incorporating a lot of open strings. Another thing you uh, can notice, though, uh, one of our chords is that is an A right here. So if you play this, you just play that fifth fret or third up from the capo, mute the A string, and then play everything else open. fret up from the capo and that's going to be your A root bass note and then open A. I think they're whole I think he's maybe holding down one of the strings. Little feeling. And then you could still play uh, at the second fret. You could still play that uh, C. And play the open. Um, this is now uh, uh, E. Okay, so uh, there's a bunch of different ways to play it. Um, there's three guitars, and you, you can play it on one guitar uh, using a variety of those techniques. Just mix it up however sounds good to you. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Have a great day, by the way. Those uh, chords are the, um, the fourth of, we said it's in the key of E, so, uh, E, A, B. E is the one. A is the uh, four chord. And B is the five chord. And the C sharp minor is the minor sixth. For those of you who are interested. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.